some biblical scholars suggest that Israel's high priests, anticipating the destruction of the city, stashed the ark deep in a cave under Jerusalem's Temple Mount for protection. It is also believed that centuries later, the ark was discovered in its hiding place and was taken away to safety by a group known as the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar were monks who were trained to fight as soldiers in the Holy Land during the Crusade from the 1100s up until the 1300s. They discovered a great treasure. They themselves describe it as a great biblical treasure. There are certainly legends throughout Europe and specifically France of where the Ark of the Covenant ended up. Some say it was buried beneath Chartres Cathedral in the crypt. Some say it was buried in the Languedoc region near Rennes-le-Chateau. And we know that the Nazis excavated in depth in these mountains looking for the Ark of the Covenant. But some believe the Ark's journey didn't end in France and that eventually it was taken even further to the north. There's been a rumor for years that the Templar treasure was actually taken through France by the Templars. And the story goes that it was then taken to Roslyn Chapel in Scotland for safekeeping. Or might it have been as some ancient astronaut theorists suggest, taken far away to North America, where it was hidden deep underground and still lies buried. Perhaps, but there are those who believe that the Ark isn't hidden at all. They claim its whereabouts have been well known and well guarded for hundreds of years. Aksum, Ethiopia the Church of St. Mary of Zion. A solitary monk who is not allowed to leave the grounds is charged with guarding the church's holiest relic. It is a job he has devoted his life to and one he will keep until his death. There's a cathedral there called the Cathedral of St. Mary of Zion. And I started talking to the monk who guarded the chapel. And, and he told me that lying in that chapel was the true, the original Ark of the Covenant. Now, at first, it seemed to me like an incredibly tall story. But as I began to look into it, I realized that there was something to the Ethiopian claim. For example, why was there an ancient Jewish population in Ethiopia? It was like they were frozen in amber from an earlier time and, and, and caught in Ethiopia. And I got to know a succession of three different guardians of the Ark. Once appointed as guardian, they have a very short lifespan. They die very quickly. And one of them in particular was pointed the issue of his eyes to me and the way that the cataracts were creeping over his eyes. And I said, what is causing that? And he, he said, it's the Ark of the Covenant that's causing that. He said, the Ark is a thing of fire. And there was such truth and power in his words that I began to feel very strongly that the Ethiopians could indeed have this object. 